Hi, welcome back. Bill with you. Radio call sign Whiskey X-Ray 4 Alpha Romeo. And today we're going to do an unboxing and an installation of a very unique and little antenna. And when I say unique, it surely is unique. And when I say little, it's little. Come with us and we'll kind of take a look. Here it is. This is an antenna made by, let's make sure I get this right, HYS Amateur Antennas. Now, as you can see, it's pretty small. Now, the unique thing about this antenna is, first of all, this is what comes in the box. The unusual thing about this antenna it's actually two whips. Look at that. This long one, of course, is for two meter band. Short one, 70 centimeters. And of course, the second unique thing is these little orange doohickeys. You'd definitely be able to see them in a parking lot. Now, little, let's see if I get this whole thing in. 17 and a half inches and it is a mag mount there's the mag mount and it's in a two pl259 i'm going to install it on my 2015 jeep cherokee so let's see what that looks like all right there's a size comparison between that new antenna and the old tram as you can see it is a whole lot shorter now, why did I want a shorter antenna? Well, I live near Disney World and we want to visit uh, Disney Springs and they have a couple of uh, low roof uh, garages and the tram is too big. Uh, last time I was there, I literally had to take the tram down. Hopefully I won't have a problem with this small one. Now, the way I expect it to work as well? No, of course not. But uh, we're gonna give it a test and we're gonna see what it's like. So stand by for that. Okay, well it's hooked up. And surprisingly, I can't tell the difference between this and the tram. Let's see here. All right, this is the uh, Sarnet. Uh, that's not the one I want though, hold on. All right, this is the uh, Sarnet in Lakeland, Florida. Now, I usually get uh, two or three bars on the S meter. And uh, let me remind you, I am sitting under a carport right now, a metal carport. So let's take a look. All right, two bars, not too bad. All right, uh, this uh, is the two meter repeater from Walt Disney World. I may not be able to hit this from in here. Let's give it a try. No, plus I'm only using 25 watts, so let's forget that. All right, this is the uh, UHF repeater from Walt Disney World. Look at that. All right, this is the uh, local repeater. Now this is usually full strength. Let's take a listen. Look at that, still full strength. It's a UHF calling, VHF calling. All right, now this is a, a Dundee is not open, open yet. This is the SAR net in Orlando. Now, I doubt very much I'll hit, hit this. Oh, actually I did. That's amazing. And that is quite a distance away. I, I don't know for sure, but if I had a guess, that repeater's got to be at least 20 miles away. And then again, I am under a carport. So far, I am liking this little, unusual mm, antenna very much. So we'll see what happens. Um, 
this is the Claremont Sarnet. I don't know. I've never even tried to hit this with the old antenna. Let's give it a try. No. Okay. Uh, the, that stands for Turnpike. I forgot what it, it was. Can't hit that either. Of course, this is the uh, 10 meter FM calling frequency. I'm not even going to try that because I do not have a 10 meter antenna. Wow. I am pleasantly surprised. Well, that'll wind up this uh, video. Thank you for joining me. And uh, hopefully we're going to add some more content in the future. So 73 for now and good DXing. Bye.